Hi friends, Suzanne here. Welcome to another Paper Pumpkin alternative video on my YouTube channel and blog. If you're new to my channel, I wanna say hi. This video will share five alternative projects to stretch your paper pumpkin supplies. If you don't know what paper pumpkin is, click the link in the description box below and check it out. I always show what's in the box before I ignore all the instructions and create my own masterpieces. So come along with me as I attempt to create out of the box. Hey friends, Suzanne here. Welcome to another Paper Pumpkin Alternative video. This kit is for the month of July 2022 and it is called Sending Good Thoughts. Here we have a stamp set that has a ship and a message in a bottle, some seaweed, some starfish, and some sentiments. The stamp and spot was Bermuda Bay. There's an advertisement here about celebration. We still have almost a month left. And the Sweet Sunflower Paper Pumpkin Kit is coming next month. It is not too late to sign up for that one. So here are the instructions for the Sending Good Thoughts Paper Pumpkin. Of course, it explains how to put the cards together. And as you know, I ignore all of these and do my own thing. And sometimes I think about what would you do if you loved the kit and wanted to create all nine cards and envelopes with all of these components. So what do you have left? So I usually take a few components and I start utilizing them. So the this for this alternative card I have, uh, the Stampin' Up! Masking Paper. So this is new to us. Um, it is a paper, as you see here, I'm cutting it up and I'm going to use this as a mask. So I actually, I only needed one, but I cut them all I, um, of the starfish. So here you can see I'm cutting the masking paper in half and then adhering the sticky, it's like a post-it note, you guys. Uh, and you could certainly use a post-it note. The nice thing is that this is pretty sticky adhesive and I know it's not going to slip anywhere. So here is my basic white card and I am going to just mask this little starfish off and then I'm going to start blending on the colors. So I will tell you that in the kit here the coordinating Stampin' Up! colors were Balmy Blue, Basic Gray, Bermuda Bay, Fresh Freesia, Freesia, Pacific Point, and Poppy Parade. So uh, again I ignored everything because when I, <laughs> I was making these starfishes and they're in, in the kit, they're blue and that's just wrong. So <laughs> these starfishes, at first I use my pale papaya with my blending brush. And so those blending brushes uh, you can find in the catalog as well as the masking paper and the dauber that I'm using and um, that is Calypso Coral. So I blended on the pale papaya color, so it's a lighter orange, very light, and then I daubed on a little bit of darker color, which was the Calypso Coral, and these are more, the more appropriate colors for starfish, in my opinion. Um, I know that you could, probably could find starfish of all different colors. As a matter of fact, I have seen some starfish that were different in color. However, in my experience, um, and you know, if there's any marine biologists out there that want to correct me, go, you know, you know more than I. But in my experience, these are the colors <laughs> of starfish. So, Please don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> I just wanted to make a, a more realistic uh, starfish. 
All right, so as you can see here, I'm and I'm, I'm starting to speed this up now. So I'm using the masking paper. I like to neutralize it on my skin first. It's pretty sticky stuff, but it is, and you can use it several times. Like I didn't need to go into um, getting more, more sheets of this. I was able to use it, uh, just those little four pieces for the entire cart. So um, that being said, I'm just lifting off and you can see I'm, I'm going to go just to the re reveals now <laughs> because you know how I did it. So I covered the whole basic white uh, card front with the starfishes. Starfish? Star, yeah, I, fish? Is, fish is a plural, isn't it? <laughs> yes, fishies doesn't work. All right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, again, I'm sort of just speeding along here. We started off with the pale papaya. We daubed on some of the calypso coral and I covered that whole sheet. Then I went in with um, my a wink of Stella. You gotta love Wink of Stella, you guys. So um, once I hurry up here, uh, I put Wink of Stella on a clear block. And that is just so that I could dip and tap into that Wink of Stella and get it all over my page. Now, I don't mind Wink of Stella on my work surface. It just adds extra sparkle. I don't have a problem with it. You probably all know that I enjoy this product very, very much. Um, I do suggest that you run right now to the online store and pick it up because it's fun. And you can see I'm actually um, using it as like a like a water technique almost. So I, I set it off to dry. And what came back, it, some of the liquid bleached out some of the ink, inked um, blended colors that were on the starfish. So it gave a realistic but whimsical uh, look to this. Then this is crumb cake and I'm just using a dauber to go around the edge. I found that whilst working with um, some of these uh, colors, I didn't like the sharp edges with uh, the background. So I do have, I split apart one gray card base from the kit. I'm adhering my starfish to that card base from the kit. And you can see it's just as a little tiny border. Then I put dimensional adhesive along the backside of that um, of that piece and I put it up on crumb cake and it's very different. I usually always say, oh, have a basic white card when you wanna do alternatives, but I chose to do crumb cake just because it had that sort of vibe, I guess, the beachy vibe. So the linen thread came in the kit. I uh, adhered it with some uh, just dry adhesive on the back wrapped it around three times and then sort of bunched it up at one end and uh, radiated out the other end. Uh, a dimensional adhesive went on and then I put it on my crumb cake cardstock. And I will, before I package this up, I will put a piece of white card inside just stamping weight paper so that um, the recipient has somewhere to write their greeting. Uh, and then I use Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I felt it needed the sentiment to be black. I don't know why. Um, I, I suppose you could have done any color that you wished. Then I sort of curled up this uh, banner. I get sick of fishtailing. I never really, to be honest, like the fishtail and it's good in a pinch, but I, like I said, I had this beachy vibe going on. And it's so funny, you guys, because there's this great big uh, event that just happened here locally. It was called Rock the Lake. And, you know, it's a big party that the entire town goes to. Um, if you didn't know, I'm 
I, my my town is in a little town called Kelowna, British Columbia, and we have a beautiful lake, and it's a very sunshiny town, and uh, we definitely know beach vibes for sure. And I hid in my house, my apartment, all weekend long because it's a gong show. <laughs> <laughs> all the tourists come here during rock the lake anyway you can see what i did i popped this sentiment up on dimensionals and i put it underneath that um twine and i thought this was simple enough anybody can do it um yes the components aren't all from the kit but what happens if you use the entire kit because this kit was super cute making alternatives and stealing components from the kit actually was I felt diff I felt bad for doing that all right here is my second card so I started off with Bermuda Bay I inked up the sentiment sending good thoughts it's my favorite I really like the font on this by the way I use crumb cake for this starfish that were in that's the image um I just stamped three times and then I went in with my blending brush and I'm just tapping the edges here on that blending brush. So um, it's got a little sea vibe, it's got, or sorry, um, sand vibe. And then I also used um, the top portion. So I think this was, hmm, was it Balmy Blue or Pool Party? Not sure, um, it might be Pool Party. And I, yeah, I think it's pool party. <laughs> and I, I, I just brushed a very faint amount of blue on the top portion, nothing serious. There's another card that I did here um, and I will show you that beach vibe. So here I'm putting the, uh, the twine on angle and I used good old scotch tape. Um, I, and especially if you're doing a deep uh, angle like this it's best to anchor both sides and then I only went around twice because I'm going to attach a little linen thread bow by the way my favorite uh, ribbon of all time is linen thread I think it's awesome I even use it in my hair salon when we actually sew updos that was a thing back in you know, I don't know, 10 years ago, <laughs> we took linen thread and we would actually adhere uh, a loosey goosey updo with that. So somebody um, wanting it a messy do. Yeah, we actually tied it with a big darning needle so you couldn't stab your client's head and uh, just uh, sewed in the hair, uh, the curls and stuff. It's a very effective uh, way of um, adhering or getting the hair all up and having no pins so all right so we put I put dimensional adhesives on the back of this and then put it also on a crumb cake card stock I'm not um, I'm not shy with a uh, basic white but I just kind of had the feeling like I said it this beachy vibe crumb cake I suppose I could have used Sahara sand too. That would have been an excellent color for the background um, or the card bases, but. <laughs> All right, here we go with card number three. So I was inspired with one of the cards that's in the kit that has a whole bunch of stripey lines. So I decided to make my own stripey line, but also I have, I, I don't know if you're, um, if you've been a part of a card or sorry, a product share, but I was a part of the product share for the new catalog and we have a punch and then these like little funky bottles and I didn't buy the punch, but because I was a part of the product share, I got these little bottles. And so here, here I, I'm just trying to utilize my supplies that I actually have. So I just used a um, piece of basic white. I pulled off a release paper, an adhesive release paper from that bottle. I traced with a pencil around 
the inside of that bottle and now I am using my paper snips to snip around and cut out a bottle shape because I'm going to stick that bottle that I got from my product share and um, I'm going to um, stick it in the hole <laughs> so and it actually worked so I was happy that it did so I went around made sure that it was really well adhered and then I went in with the effervescence elements so these are like circle like little orbs <laughs> and uh, they have they're, they're all different sizes and they're iridescent um, and they do look like bubbles in the water. So I had a loose one, I caught it and now, um, oh, and I did take off that um, adhesive. So here's the bottle that came in the kit. So I just stole one bottle and that was the backer for it. Then I had the difficult task of um, putting adhesive all along <laughs> that backside so um, I would use glue wet glue for that all right so here is a piece of basic white and I have both of my markers light and dark combo that is Bermuda Bay and I just draw drew some lines so this is with that um, felt tip pen I'm trying to make it as straight as possible but I'm cutting myself some slack I I didn't want it to be ruled I didn't want you know a ruler in there but I did want it to be straight and then once I got them straight I went in with the uh, bullet tip and I just drew some lines so this I'm still using the dark one right now and of course this is random I I don't um, there was no rhyme nor reason I knew that um, I wanted thinner lines and thicker lines but um, I also knew that I was going to come in with that light Bermuda Bay marker. So these are blends markers. They're made of alcohol. Um, they're excellent for coloring and blending, but also you could make your own background, which is what I'm doing. And right now, this to me kind of feels like a beach blanket. Um, but it also, I felt it was kind of reminiscent of the lake or ocean where it looked like waves coming down um, it is very it's art so you can be it can be impressionist <laughs> so I put adhesive on the back of that and my favorite adhesive is seal plus and then I adhered it to a Bermuda Bay card stock and then, oh, here's me with the wet adhesive, or the dry adhesive. I would suggest tear tape or actual glue glue, wet glue, <laughs> to adhere down. Anyway, it actually worked. So I adhered that to my card base, and that's basic white. And then I almost forgot about the sentiment. <laughs> so um, again, uh, I'm using... Uh, Bermuda Bay for the sentiment and I really liked the sending good thoughts um, sentiment what else was there there was another sentiment that said um, wishing you all the best as well so that could have went I just really liked the script and how thin it was so that I was able to put it on a piece of basic white uh, and I angled this end and I just put it straight across and then flipped the card over to cut off the excess and that was card number oh hang on wait I have um, just a little bit of uh, the linen thread and I tied a bow and I'm putting that directly on the bottle and that's that All right, here we go with card number four. So uh, the product that I used here was, um, uh, okay, so two 
inks that is uh let's see is that sahara no it's crumb cake i used crumb cake for the bottom and then uh, and again i'm using my blending brushes and i've cut out most of this you guys because it i these blending brushes take they're very very soft and it's very very light to um sponge on or like to ink up the page so I wanted uh, maybe mm, like a third of that to be crumb cake and then uh, two thirds to be Bermuda Bay coming from the top down and I'm leaving sort of a white piece in the center to make it look kind of like you know when the ocean hits the sand and there's a little bit of white foam or wave that's what I wanted to leave in the center so I know that we kind of hit on this on card number two but with this one we for sure are going all the way so crumb cake uh, like I said about an eighth of or sorry a, a third of that page and two-thirds is the Bermuda Bay with a white strip where the two meet and then um, I think this one um, I'm not I think this one's my favorite to be honest I uh, the first one and the third and the fourth one is my favorite I think I also like number five so again you guys get to to vote on what um, what is your favorite uh, that seems to be a crowd uh, pleaser <laughs> when you can vote I'd love for you to tell me why you liked uh, whichever one you liked all right so this is a big bottle that I cut uh, down so it was one of the elements from the um, the kit that I cut down and I'm gonna put my sentiment on that and here I go with the, I turned the blue starfish over and I inked up the, um, the starfish with pale papaya. Then I went in a little bit with my dauber and I sort of scrubbed on some Calypso coral. So this product is called Snowfall Accents Puff Paint and it is new from in the catalog. We've, we've used it before though, so I'm familiar on how to use it. And this is a very fine tipped uh, brush that I own. You could use a pencil, like it would work with a pencil. And I'm just dotting on this puff paint. And then uh, I put the starfish onto my silicone mat and I heat it up with my heat tool because if you've ever noticed in the wilds, uh, these starfish actually have ridges on them and I feel like I... I just went a little mental and I wanted to make this my little starfish look a little bit more realistic. And because there's such a fine amount of this puff paint, you it doesn't puff up a lot, but it's pretty cool and I'm pleased with it. So that is an element to this card. And then um, I also used a seahorse. So I'm just putting that blended ink blended piece on a basic white card and then I'm uh, stamping with Memento Tuxedo Black ink again I don't know why but I like my sentiments in black and uh, even if you're a new stamper I probably would suggest that you go pick yourself up a beautiful black ink Memento is one of my favorites and I, it just, for me, I needed a black sentiment. And I suppose sometimes Night of Navy is also a good alternative for that because it's almost black. <laughs> All right, so I've taken some of the linen thread and doubled it up and twisted it around my fingers. I miss making messy nests. I remember there was a time when we made all the messy nests and we've kind of gotten out of it. Um, I'm just trimming off some excess here. Then I'll put some uh, of my favorite dry adhesive down. I'm going to be covering that with the, um, uh, what do you call them, seahorse. 
and actually I think I did this off camera um, in the pictures I'm not sure if you see them or not but I do put faux sea glass shapes um, in uh, in this design as well I felt that it needed it um, I put dimensional adhesive on both my starfish and my seahorse And then I just cut off the rest of that bottle. You know, I could have left the bottle, um, the sentiment in the bottle, but I didn't. And then here it is with my, uh, the Wink of Stella again, almost using that like, so when you do this, when you ink blend and then you flick water on it, it creates these little bleach spots. So this Wink of Stella actually has water in it. Um, I've refilled it with water and this is the best. I wouldn't necessarily think that it, uh, the Wink of Stella would create uh, bleach spots on your projects, but uh, this one did because I did refill it with water. And there are the sea, sea glass shapes you can see there. Okay, here we go with my last and final card. And I want you to know that I did miss some footage here. I lost some, actually my camera turned off. Um, it was full, so it turned itself off. Anyway, this was a the negative part to the labels that came with the kit. So I'm going to create a bokeh effect. So um, I've used those masking uh, pages again, Stampin' Up! masking uh, paper. And I'm inking up with Bermuda Bay and I brought in some Balmy Blue. And so, and basically I went one on top of the other. So I did it twice. And there's my masking paper again. And I just mask off the, um, the paper as long as it's not going to get on on the rest of my page so I want to mask off my card front <laughs> not necessarily uh, you know anywhere else and I am using a it's a small grid mat and I have laminated it so it is just something that I, I use to keep my desk from getting too inky I could put this and I feel bad, you know, using so much paper that um, I don't like throwaway stuff. So by coating it with a laminator, um, I, I can reuse it, wipe it down with a baby wipe and, and done. So I went in with pool party and I just softened some of that white because I want this to look like the bottom of the ocean. So, uh, and a bokeh effect is when you put those, it's like a, a filtered focus, but it also could be, you know, like bubbles in the ocean, or again, I kind of was doing some artsy fartsy stuff. Did the same thing here with my watered Wink of Stella. I wanted to create the sparkle and also a little bit of bleachiness. And this time I used a, an acrylic block and sort of flicked on. I got a finer spray doing that. And then, I, and of course I, oh, uh, during these steps, I let everything dry. So I have this, the stamp that looks like a message. I stamped it off a couple of times. Which color did I like better? The full strength or second or second generation. I wanted to use the full strength. I fussy cut this out. I adhered it to the bottle and then I brought in a, what's it called? Um, adhesive sheets. So I made a sticker out of the front of the bottle because I wanted to make it look more like glass. So I also incorporated some window sheet. And I'm telling you all of this because I, and I will show you, but eventually my, uh, I lost that footage and I don't get to show you the sentiment. And I wanted to talk you through the sentiment. Um, 
but here we go with the message right on top of the bottle and then I come in with um, oh and of course cattywampus adherence of the background so I put adhesive on my basic white and I adhered that to some Bermuda Bay and I put it off kilter here a little bit so that it's not perfect it's got a whimsical feel I spread some uh, glue oh here we go with my the adhesive sheet and the window sheet you can see my ring light there as reflection so uh, this is the adhesive sheet it's um, basically whatever you want to make a sticker you can make a sticker uh, I put the sticky part on the front of my bottle and I stuck it down to my um, window sheet. Then I cut out the window sheet so that basically it has a smooth finish and it feels like glass. So um, it's definitely a textural thing. Burnished it with a uh, bone folder uh, and then here I come in with my silicone sheet this is a good way of just sort of tapping glue onto a funny frond like piece of coral like this is um, this was the release paper from my masking paper and basically I, I sort of pressed it a little bit down I put that onto the card and cut the rest off. Then I stamped the sentiment twice, one with um, crumb cake and one with Bermuda Bay. And then I fussy cut the uh, sentiment out and in two different colors and um, adhered that to the card on dimensionals. And that is the, um, the footage that we miss. So there's my bottle. Of course, we have the scene missing. And then here are the still photos. Um, I want you to know that folks who subscribe to Paper Pumpkin with me get an additional PDF email directly to them with a dozen more alternative ideas. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.